So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another prehistoric hunt video. Now in this video I am going to be going through some of the trophies that I've gotten here recently in prehistoric hunt, starting off with this albino Gallimimus. Now I had such struggles trying to bring this albino down and unfortunately the cooler just didn't seem to want to work. I spent ages trying to call this guy in so that I could get some good shots with the bow and hopefully get the legendary medal. But unfortunately, like I said, the cooler just wouldn't work. So I ended up having to go for whatever shots I could. Now, at one point here, thankfully, I managed to find him drinking and managed to get a nice vital hit on him. But unfortunately, it didn't end up bringing it down. I was really hoping that vital hit would, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Now, ended up getting a third hit into it here, which I was hoping would be pretty good. But unfortunately, it didn't go quite as planned. And then finally, I ended up putting a fourth shot into it whilst it's being chased back towards me by a T-Rex. Now, at this point, I knew that I was going to die and I couldn't press any of the right keys whilst trying to actually save myself from the Rex there. But it wasn't too much of a problem. Respawned close by and then came back to take a look at the trophy that I had just brought down. Absolutely gorgeous looking albino. And it is just a diamond because I didn't get any heart shots. I lost some integrity there as well. And also I didn't have the highest session score at the time. So that will have affected it as well. But still diamond is pretty good. You know it's diamond then legendary in terms of the highest scores. So a diamond one is still pretty cool. And I was really happy with that. That. With the latest update we got trophy shots so took a quick trophy shot of him there and now we move on to the next trophy. Now actually there was kind of two trophies in this bit of a clip but unfortunately something ended up happening to one of them. So what you will have just seen there was an albino pterodon followed by a melanistic. They were both in the exact same area but unfortunately whilst I was trying to find them both and actually bring them down I ended up finding the melanistic had already been killed by a T-Rex. Now unfortunately this can happen when these guys come and actually land to rest. Sometimes the T-Rexes will actually kill them. And it's cool that the dinos interact in this game and they can kill each other. But it was really unfortunate to lose a potential trophy in that way. But the albino actually survived and now I will leave you with a clip of me actually trying to take this one down with the bow, trying to get the best medal possible from this absolutely gorgeous albino. So there we have it, finally managing to bring this albino down. Unfortunately got diamond instead of legendary, but I did lose quite a bit of integrity there from those headshots. And obviously I didn't get any heart shots as well, so I didn't get any heart shot bonuses. But still a really awesome looking albino and one that I was super happy to actually finally get. I really wanted to get an albino pterodon, so super happy to finally get one. Unfortunate that we lost out on the melanistic. It was cool to see them both in the same area. Hopefully I will eventually get a melanistic one, 
but I'm so happy that I did actually manage to get the albino. Now, talking of melanistics, this is one that I did actually manage to get, a melanistic triceratops. This is one that I'd really wanted to find in the game. I'd seen other people get these and they look so awesome with the, just like the black colour, I guess, scales and skin. And then you have the white horns. It looks awesome. So I really wanted to get one and I actually found this whilst tracking a, another trophy, which we'll take a look at in a minute. And then this just ends up charging me. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. But that contrast of the black and white, I think, looks so, so pretty. So happy I managed to get it. Now, I didn't try and take this one down with the bow. I did just go for taking it with the revolver. So I didn't get the difficult weapon bonus. Did get a heart shot bonus there, which was really nice. But not taking it with the bow, I didn't expect it to make legendary. It, you never get legendary with the revolvers, I've, or at least I've never had legendary when using a revolver. But it's still a diamond melanistic, and I was really happy with that. Look at that, it's such a cool looking animal. Really, really happy. And of course we're going to tax that and send it straight to the trophy lodge. That was awesome. Now, this next dino is the one I was actually tracking when I got attacked by that melanistic trike. And you'll see there, it's an albino Pachycephalosaurus. Which, the Pachycephalosaurus seemed to be one of the more elusive dinos in this game. And getting the albinos, melanistics, and the piebolds, which are now a thing. Piebold dinosaurs are in the game now. It seems to be really rare. So I was very excited when I ended up seeing this and then got the melanistic triceratops as well. I was so excited to get the melanistic trike whilst looking for this. But I actually managed to finally find this albino. Now here you can see me make an absolute fool of myself while I accidentally pressed the wrong key and it had me typing whilst I was spamming trying to hit the buttons to reload and actually move so that I wasn't going to get killed by this guy. But finally managed to take this albino down after a very long track, getting the melanistic trike in the process. And we have a max weight, from what I can tell, albino pachycephalosaurus. Legendary medal. That is just the coolest thing. I couldn't have been more happy. Now, I kind of lucked out because I didn't end up making any heart shots. So I kind of got really lucky in that way. So I'm super happy that I did actually still manage to get the legendary medal. And yeah, like I said, as far as I can tell, I believe that is max weight as well. So a really, really awesome trophy. And I'm super happy I managed to get this. Just a cool animal in general. And yeah, a trophy that I didn't expect to get. And when I saw it, I couldn't really believe what I was looking at. And like I said, the track for it took a while, but ended up getting the melanistic trike in the process. So that was really cool. Now, talking of melanistic trikes or triceratops, we have yet another one here. This time I did actually try to take it with the bow. Now, I really am not very good at manoeuvring with actually being on mouse and keyboard. I'm trying my best to get better at being on mouse and keyboard and being able to actually manoeuvre around the attacks from these guys. But you can see there I am struggling and unfortunately I do end up getting killed by this melanistic. I end up respawning and then I just go straight back to the same area and I end up finding the same triceratops. Managed to get another hit in it with a bow and then it actually flees as it's going to go off and die. So we'll just end up just following this guy along here for a second. I did try to get another arrow shot in there, but unfortunately, yeah, I was not going to get another arrow in there. He was uh, moving too quickly. And the bow can be a bit finicky with the aiming as well. It is actually a difficult weapon to use, which is why it makes sense that it gets the difficult weapon bonus. But we did actually manage to bring this one down with the bow, which was pretty cool. Now, I knew it probably wasn't going to be a legendary because it took way too long to die and I'd hit it in the head. Well, it turns out I'd actually hit it in the neck. I thought I'd got it in the head, but you can see time to kill bonus is zero. Everything else looked pretty good, but unfortunately I think the time to kill bonus, if I had actually killed it quicker and if I'd actually got some heart shots, would have probably ended up maybe being a legendary. But it's a diamond and I'm super happy with that. Now I'm going to claim this one and just take a quick trophy shot like we just did, because I do already have the other one taxed, but still really cool to see. Now, once again, we're going to be taking a look here at a Gallimimus trophy. Once again, I tried to take it with the bow. It wasn't working out. 
and I just decided in the end to just take this one with the rifle. Now, I was actually super happy with that rifle shot, only had to take the one shot after actually shooting it with the arrow to bring it down, and that was actually really nice, and I don't use the hunting rifle a whole lot, so I was super happy with that. Now, we do have another diamond here, a Melanistic Gallimimus. Very, very cool looking dino, I think they're really beautiful. Now, again, if I'd made heart shots with the bow, probably could have got legendary as, as the medal, but I'm still happy with a diamond. These guys are so hard to get legendary from. Just because they are difficult to actually get those bow shots in. Especially to get those heart shots. It's a goal for me to eventually try and get a legendary one. But unfortunately it just wasn't working out. The cooler I don't know if it's bugged for them or something. But it just doesn't seem to be bringing them in when I'm using it at the moment. And that makes things ten times harder. Because you're trying to manoeuvre around them. And actually try and get a shot with the bow. It's so much more difficult than just being able to call them in and line up a shot. But moving on to the next trophy, and this was something I was extremely excited to find. That was a piebald Utah Raptor. And I was having to be really careful here because I could see this piebald Raptor, but I was also having to avoid the T-Rex there. I don't have the 50 cal in game, so dealing with Rexes for me is extremely difficult. I can easily take down a Utah Raptor and I know I should be able to do it with the bow and hopefully get the legendary medal, but a T-Rex is a whole different story. Now, I actually managed to get this guy's attention and put a shot into it there with the bow and it started to run off immediately, which normally only happens if you make a fatal hit. If you make a fatal hit, they normally then just do run off. So I was like, okay, that went pretty well, then I must have hit heart. And I did end up hitting the heart. It went down really quickly. And we have a piebald legendary Utah Raptor. How cool is that? A piebald legendary Raptor. So cool. The piebolds are a new feature to the game. And all of the dinos do actually have a piebald variant. And I think it's really cool to see that they've actually added that. It gives a little bit more variety to the trophies you're finding. And yeah, just super happy with that. Such a gorgeous looking dino. F absolutely fantastic. So happy about that. And it's a female, which is cool. It's really cool that the females in this game can be just as big as the males. I absolutely love that. It's really cool to get the legendary females. So that was really exciting. And I was super happy with that trophy. Now for the final trophy of this video, we have this. An albino ankylosaurus. Now I was super excited to to see this as the only rare Ankies I'd had in this game had been a couple of Melanistics. So, so to see an albino finally I was really excited. The Ankies are actually apparently going to get a remodel which is going to be exciting to see and I'll be really curious to see what this albino ends up looking like in my trophy lodge once they get the remodel. But I'm so, so stoked that I managed to actually find this. Like I said, in the same hunt as the piebald raptor. And I really do like the Ankylosaurus in this game. I think they're a really cool addition. So super happy to actually end up finding this. And I managed to take it there with the bow. And once again, it did the thing of running away, which normally means that they are fatally wounded. It does come back at me here for another attack. But I managed to just put one final arrow into it here. And then it ends up dropping. And I was so, so excited to see if I'd got the legendary medal. And I did end up getting the legendary medal. So happy about that. The first shot actually was a heart shot, which I guess is why it was running away. So cool looking. Just an absolutely awesome trophy. And I was super excited to actually get this one on the ground. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching. I'm really happy with the trophies I've been getting in this game. They are all so cool looking. This game is really fantastic and it is getting updated quite regularly. We got the trophy shots update, which also gave us the piebald variants. There's a lot of really cool things going on with this game. And I think it's a little bit of an under underrated gem so yeah i'm super happy with all of this and i can't wait to to play more and hopefully get some more trophies but that is going to be it for this video so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you